What's up, guys? Welcome. I'm finally back. It was been, it, it it has actually been a very very long week. <laughs> My God. Um. So what we'll be doing is, hey, Ida, how are you doing, man? How are you doing? We got the uh, the better window up. There we go. So it's probably not pirates will bring us to a new island. And I'm hoping to hit the MSQ level 50 this week. So, yeah, appreciate that. Everyone being here so far. Uh, screen arriving tomorrow. That is great news, dude. Ooh, let me know how it go, how it actually goes. Because when I got a new monitor, it really kind of killed my graphical card. But considering you have like a 4090, I believe. You should not have any difficulty with that. I don't think that's going to be the case. Anyways, um, let us continue and let me start butchering text because welcome, we're in Limsa and we all know how I handle Limsa. And that's not good. Not good at all. We also have to exchange some of these items and just sell whatever is left. Although, we could use this mitral curses. Yeah, we'll have to switch to a new base res and import by through the color and grant the currency. Yeah. Yeah, so, same with my old monitor. This monitor I'm, I'm using right now, the LG one, it's, it's been, been great. Uh, let's try that on. Can we just get my gear in there? Ah. Uh, uh, Mm. We could use it, we could glam over it until we get some stuff done. Because I really like this outfit. We could actually glam over it. Uh, so let's equip it. And let us teleport to Limsa. It will actually. Yeah, we have to go to Limsa. Yeah, still, you know, it's, uh, so... Um... I would say... Yes. Let us head over to... The inn, aft castle. Do I have items on me for glamming? I have one glamour prism. Okay, let's go to the aft castle. Let's uh, exchange some of these items while I ban someone from my chat. So we'll exchange the, the things over here. What, what's all of this? Level 41. Highway robbery. They came from the deep. We have two missions over here. Level 44. We might just take them. Might just take them. I know I'll get... Um, ex just... Uh, how do you call it? Uh, Sidetracked. Let's turn that in. Um, actually use... No, I'm locked. Just oh wow, really starts typing. There you go. Uh do we get an, a promotion or the glam? It's going to be the glam crystals. Uh we should be able to get them now. Uh material. I guess not. Well, that kind of kind of sucks. Be honest, huh? Ooh. Typing in chat that's not. So this is the lower one. What highway robbery? Adventure with superior loitering skill. I have no clue what it is. Sergeant Dosin. I know not what brings you to the Maelstrom Commander's Day, but I can hardly fault your timing. 
Aye. We have a situation on our hands? We do. Not days ago, a convoy of ours was ambushed on the route to Limsa, and a goodly shipment of salt pepper plundered from our very hands. Discovery dogs responsible for the axe struck swiftly and under darkness. So we've yet to figure out who they are, much less bring them to justice. Salt pepper is... Uh, salt pepper, as you may know, is a key ingredient in fashioning fire sand, whatever our foe might be plotting. Like as not, it involves an earthly share of fiery death and destruction. Command has dispatched an elite regiment to the field to investigate. But clues have proven harder to come by than a half-decent pint of ale at sea. Leading the investigation is a good comrade of mine. While I'd like nothing more than to lend my strength to the search, I can very well shrink me duties here. If you're willing, if you find yourself itching for adventure, you could do worse than make for swift perch. And seek out Lieutenant Skate. Let's call it Skate. Just say that Tretch send you. Um, I'll do one mission at a time because I do get sidetracked quite easily. We'll just go there. I'm, I'm not sure if it, if it will unlock the very first hard dungeon. That would be something. That would be cool. I would really enjoy that. Someone is just going at it. Probably seeking solitude and silence. Okay, here you go, Lieutenant. Lemanian, take the lot of you. You'd have me believe there is not a single piece of evidence in this entire godforsaken hamlet. And who might you be? An adventurer coming on behalf of Tretch, who said I was looking for help anyway. Tretch did. Ha! I'll have you both know that it's all clear as sky and smooth sailing here. Aye, I was about to file my report to... Ah, I ain't fooling no one. A good dose of salt pepper has been snatched from my hands. Like as not by someone who'd use it to sink our fair limson to the bottom of the sea. Our fair limsa to the bottom of the sea. Alright, I'll share with you what, uh, what my men have gleaned through. I warn you, it ain't much. I don't mind it ain't much. Trust me. But language like this, how are you still a language? Given the scope of the act, we believe it was coordinated effort by a well-trained group. What's more, given the sheer speed with which the discovery thieves vanished from our sight, I reckon that they've had knowledge of passage unknown to us. I had me hopes up that my men would find... Uh, would have found something, but they had no such luck. What say you? Care to take a look around and see if you can find the evidence? Me half blind and fries drafts aboard in this could. Man, you are foul mouthed. Absolutely foul mouthed. Um, but it should be easy because I think it's behind this. Cook it pickaxe. Now before we do anything, like I, I want to switch to one of my other classes because we need to level it up because this one's now level 44. Main quest is um 42. So we're two levels above it. That means that all of the, the two other classes that we have are just not good enough. 38 and 37. I might have gone a bit too much with the classes but you know eventually we'll we'll catch up especially when the story stuff kicks in anyways let's go back to the lieutenant 
You know, was it well? Find any evidence that could shed some light to our investigation? Yeah, we got ourselves a crooked pickaxe. Hmm, what have we here? A pickaxe? And a rather sorry looking one at that. Do you reckon this was left behind by the perp perpetrators? In my time with the Maelstrom, I've confronted just about every pirate brigade and every highwayman in these parts, but I have not known any of them to employ a tool like this. No, I wager more than a round at the range that our band of grubbly little thieves ain't no ordinary men. Aye, it all becomes clear to me. And yourself, no doubt. Tell me now, might you be thinking what I'm thinking? And we're thinking about... Kobolds. I knew you were a sharp one. I am such a sharp one. The moment I lay eyes on the pickaxe, I found my mind was convinced. The primitive making of this tool and all... An all too healthy interest in explosives. All signs pointing to those red faced rapscallions behind, uh, being behind all of this. It's so bloody obvious now that I could almost kick myself and me good for nothing man for not coming to this conclusion sooner. But this is hardly the time for wenging. Whatever. No, we must strike quickly if we mean to reclaim what is ours. Camp Overlook is our front line of defense against those tunnel burrowing thieves. If anyone has a notion of where they take in the salt pepper and how they plan to use it, it will be Commander Bluiden. I'm off to deliver my report, but if you have. But if. If you have, but I have a hunch our job has only begun. What say you? Come along, you know. You're the first capable woman I've l worked with today. I don't believe you got any women under your command either. So yeah. Uh, anyways, I believe we already went there. I think this actually unlocks the kobolds to do missions for them. I've never done that. Is, is that actually true? Will this, like, unlock the kobolds? If it is, then this is going to be quite annoying. So here is the commander. Hmm. Make it quick, adventurer. As you can see, I've got my hands full with our little friend here. This is an outrage, a farce, an atrocity. An outrage, again, an outrage? Yeah, two, twice, an outrage. This is an insult, and we kobolds will not stand for it. No, no, stand no more. All beast stripes in the realm run from the Grand Company is a starting quest there. Ah, so this will actually, indeed, unlock them. I, I don't know what doing. I, I've, like I said, I've never tried them. I'm just curious, are they worth... My wow. You'll have... N uh, you, you'll you not have legs to stand on if you don't quit Babylon and spit the truth about whatever it is your scurvy rats are plotting. Plotting? There is no plotting. No, no. We plot nothing. Not nil nothing. I quite like these guys. I don't know why. They're quite funny. Enough. Unlike you... And your ilk. I have a working pair of eyes. And a least half me wit. What the? I have a perking pair of eyes. A working pair of eyes. And at least half me wits about me. You think I've not seen you lot blasting and scurvy around... Uh... Ungaromo of late. Okay, so there's the lieutenant. Commander, sir. Aye. 
It's a treat to see me old trainee, but I fear a Bruin Cobalt plot demands me attention. Una here and I just might be able to help you with that, Commander. I trust you have heard the news of our missing shipment of salt pepper. Realm was a tricky bunch they are, I think. The most annoying to level up. They do give access to one mount per tribe, some minions, some dice you cannot purchase otherwise, except market boards, crafting, and some items you need for Enemo weapons. What, what is an Enemo weapon? So, an alternative to spend poetic... Oh. So, not super worth it, but also not entirely a waste of time. The Heaven's Ward Relic Weapons, the shiny ones. I I know there is like Relic Weapons of Realm Reborn, but I don't think I've gotten that far with Heaven's Ward. Anyways, so soon she knows this cannot be, no, no, it cannot be. Ha! I knew it. Your endless tongue waggling was finally uh, has finally dug her own grave. It was not us. No, no, not us. It was them. Yes, yes, them. What nonsense is this? Beating eyes, frizzy tail, a pension, a penchant of causing us trouble. A kobold, a kobold. This is not so. No, no, not so. There are kobolds, and they, and then there are kobolds. And then there are kobolds still. If it, what the, what the fuck? It, it it is it the low ones who stole your precious salt pepper, the ones who live down beneath below. Beneath and below. Come to think of it, me scouts did mention a particularly swaggy bunch of kobolds. What seemed to have made their homes at the cliff base. Yes, yes, that is the place. That is the home, the home of the 789th. They are the worst. The worst of the worst. They are most stinky, smelly, scummy, stinking. And ugly too. Commander, as the president in office... In this investigation, oh, as the presiding officer in this investigation, I request permission to go below and investigate the so-called 789th. Furthermore, furthermore, I would enlist this adventurer to join me. She's proven herself capable, and it would seem we go up against a worthy foe. Uh, the book of my summoner with those shiny wings. Oh, cool! Yeah, that is a cool weapon. He showed me last time. As wait, did he salute the lieutenant as a commander? Usually, no. Okay, wait. Never mind. As you please, lieutenant. But I warn you, be careful down there. The sight of a kobold won't strike fear into anyone's heart, but they bite, and their bombs are a fair sight worse than their bark. Understood, commander. Will not let you down, and with that, I'm taking my leave. Till C swallows all. Well, are you ready to take on the scroviest band of kobolds in La Nausicaa? You best be, because I'm counting on you to make yourself useful. Okay. I guess that's fine. Uh, would this... Like... Can we do this? Level 31. Would we be able to do this as... I say a white mage. I think I'm going into the wrong direction here. Let's uh, summon this one. I think... I think we need to be down there. Can I jump down here? Of course not. Could I jump down here? 
Yes, I can. Wait, so that one captured cobalt thinks these are the worst? Is it just me or is it less? Well, actually, no. I know there's not a lot of voiced in a realm reborn, but still. Well, well, what we, what have we here? One, two, I three crates of salt, pepper. It would seem our cob cobalt informant spoke. He's he's not an informant. He was captured. Yeah, sadly, also future expansion. Uh, usually only MSQ get voiced. You know, I'm actually okay with that. Uh, you know, Evans Ward is the, the the one that I played until the end, not the post post play of Heaven's Ward, but and I really enjoyed that story quite a bit. So I'm looking very forward to get there. Okay, fight. What the? Oh, we've been. Oh, yep, they got us. Surrounded. Stand ready, Una. Ah. Uh. Okay, that was weird. I just going to stand there, squeaking at me all day. Fight with honor, or die like Retia. Okay, uh, are we going to fight or what? She doesn't have a weapon. Wow, that's fast. Uh, uh, are there no alternatives? Choices? Options? Alternatives? Such as perhaps surrender. Yes, yes, surrender. We surrender. Did you say surrender? Well, that's, that's, yeah. Job well done, guys. Yes, yes, we surrender. Yield, submit, surrender. What in the seven hells? Okay, wait. Get off our chocobo. I haven't had. Uh, I haven't an inkling as to the whims and wherefores. But it seems these, the notorious 789th is keen to return the plunder without so much as a fight. I, for one, wouldn't have been opposed to cracking a few cobalt skulls, but considering the strained relation between Limsa and the little buggers these days, we can argue for a good diplomacy. Any road, I'll report back to the commander and arrange for the transport of the supplies. Aye, and with a reliable escort this time. In the meantime, why don't you ask around and see what you can learn about our new neighbors? After all, they don't seem half as imposing as I expected. Their leaders their leader, least of all. Best of luck, Une. Till Swiss solos or yeah, okay. Like all of this stuff, I I really just pushed through. Yeah, okay. So we have to do this. Okay. Well, you are still here. We have surrendered. Yes, you that submitted surrendered. You will not hurt us. Yes. What a relief. Reassured, relaxed, relieved. And who am I, you ask? I am Gigu, and Gigu is foreman of the 789th. Leader in name, yes. But no more, no, no, no more. For in truth, no one listens to Gigu. Gigu is ignored, invisible. Insulted, ignored, incompetent too. The 789 stole your precious bomb, a uh, boom powder. 
Yes, yes, we did. And yet, we have good cause for doing so. An excuse, a reason, a cause. Ours is a peaceful order by nature. The 789th troubled no one. And no one troubled us. No, not until now. Now we are driven from the tunnels, exiled to this place that stinks of soil and seawater. But you are a stranger and I ramble too much. Too soon. No, no. I will speak no more. Go now. And leave Gigu to his suffering. His pain, his shame, his suffering. Oh man, I feel bad. Alright, let's, uh, let's continue with this. You are still here, yes. Yes, yes, you are. You would hear this sad tale of Gigu and the 789th. Then listen. Listen and weep. Sob. Cry. Weep. You think of people... You think you people have it tough. You know nothing. No, nothing at all. Ours is a world of cobalt eat cobalt. Yes. Ours is a constant struggle, a labor, a toil, a struggle for survival. Dig and dig we do, dig for ore and riches, dig well and we are rewarded. Better digs give us, uh, better digs are given us and more weight to our world, uh, word carry. Okay, so the better items he brings back, the more he is worth. Dig poorly and we are shunned. Reviled, scorned, shunned. You know the Cobalt Order have numbers. Yes, yes, you know. The smaller the number, the greater the order. You find, you find this curious, but this is the Cobalt Order. Oh, I always thought like he was offspring number 789th. Okay, that makes so much sense. How many orders you ask? Yes, yes. How many? 780. Oh my god. 789. He is the lowest of the low. And not one more. We exist in the backside of Cobalt Society. The bottom, the rear, the backside. And so, for, uh, from the tunnels we are driven. Dig more, find more, make more wealth for our betters. Then you can come home, they say. But this dry vein holds no treasure. No, no, nothing. Meanwhile, our kin in Ukramoro hoards treasure so great that they toss gold away. Toss it away like garbage. Yes, their trash is our treasure. Any moment now, we will be judged uh, on our hall. But our sack, our sack is empty, barren, bare, empty. You must go down to to the dig and bring back something, anything for us. I beg of you. Yes, yes. Even the shabbiest scrapes will do. Okay. Guess we have a mission then. Uh, let's go back to a white mage. Uh, we won't. We won't get much, you know. But orbits help. Uh, we still have the dailies to do. And it is actually. Can we go up there? And. Yeah. That's fine. Tiny bit of damage. Zoom out a bit. If we can just get these to level, then that would be great. And we might need to kill these three, but we'll see. Right, never mind. Alright, uh, let's uh let's just go with it. We can't turn in the quest, that's one. 
But at least we can do a bit of damage over here. Zoom this a bit down. Otherwise, it's just in your face. It's not what I want. Uh, we need four worthless ore. There is one more. I wouldn't mind not fighting as much, though. He says that, and then immediately there's a cobalt. I knew it. Luckily, we have our chocobo. Now, you should get... XP a, a lot more than if we were on our Marauder or our Warrior Because their level is actually higher so it's possible he might level up or it might level up. I don't know if it's E or a C And there's two more Oh, great. I was... Oh, okay. He is actually coming to me. Good. Uh, for a second there, I thought he was going to be ranged. And I kind of don't want to trigger anyone. Yeah, his region is keeping up quite nicely. Uh, could we do it without a fight? Ah, uh, we could. Oh, did not think that was going to happen. The other one didn't trigger. I'm surprised about that. We could actually just take the long way around. Okay, my region is it should be more potent than his. Wait, are, are we healing ourselves 170 against his? Oof. Man, he is definitely not a good healer. Uh, um. Would he go away? Oh no. also not giving us any XP actually. I know I just said like, you know, all bits help, but I'm not sure about that anymore. Alright, let's give ourselves a region. Otherwise we'll most likely not make it. And uh, we'll quickly take aggro off our chocobo. Yeah, I kind of want... Oh, he did regen on me. Look at my god. He's just doing 18 and 19. 28 would be... I think a critical heal. Go. Get the heck out of here. For it like respawn or anything. Kinda don't want to deal with that. Uh, and then I'll reach it. Uh, not great, but they can be good enough if you're a DPS to keep you alive for long. Yeah, that's true. But it's definitely sad, man. The healing, it's like a tenth of what I would do. He is level 10, I guess. Uh, any full healer 
And he can use a chocobo. Yeah, um... No, he's not level 10. He's level 6. So he still will get like a minf increase. Like increased chocobo's healing magic and potency by 30. But if it's like 18, 30% 30 of 18... Uh, yeah, that 1.3 would be 10, 1.8. So that would be 3, 6, 4, that would be, I don't know, like 5, 5, 5 more. Yeah, true. And then he has enchant enhanced mind by 15%. I think that would do the most. His HP... And orders Chocobo to restore its own HP and the HP, HP of all near party members. Would he not use that? Unless I order it. And that just makes, you know, hardly any sense to me. Anyways, let us return this quest. From dawn till dusk, dusk will dawn, uh, dusk till dawn we dig, and yet our barrows are empty, bare, barren, empty. We are not welcome down below, but you, you will find something for us. Yes, yes, you must. Could it be? Yes, yes, it could. Why these dirty lumps, chunks, scraps, lumps exceed our haul from the past three moons? You have my thanks, adventurer, and my gratitude. Oh, but you must not leave so soon. No, no longer. You must stay. Persist. So you stay until... Zoga has come and gone. Who is Zoga? You ask? Zoga is a giant amongst kobolds. A beast, a brute, a giant. So smart. So smart and strong is Zoga. That is order. Search to the top of the ranks. Goza would lead us all into a new era of prosperity. Or so Zoga claims. But this is a sham. Yes, Zoga cares only for Zoga. Weak you are, Zoga will use you and, and, and then throw you away. Yes, Zoga storms all over us. Tremples, st uh, stamps, storms. This is why you must stay adventurous. Stay and watch over us from the shadows. Okay, we'll do that. Ah, gulp. I will actually wonder what his order number is. Then, this place reeks, stinks, smells, reeks. You say you were taking us to a steam bath. You're a big fat liar. A cheat. A fraud. A liar. Oh, nice hat, dude. Stop your bloody squeaking. Work before pleasure. Or do you want to join the riffraff in their rotten stash heap? A rotten trash heap? No, no, I thought not. Oh, this is Giku. Okay. Uh, greetings, Zoga. How kind of you to visit our humble dig. I must say, you are looking especially impressive today. Imposing, overpowering, overwhelming, overbearing. Ah. Oh, he's the 13th order. Damn. Yeah, yeah, okay. He's definitely better than they are. Yeah, yeah. 
You're looking as scruffy as ever, whatever your name was. But enough talk. My time's worth then and my time's worth more than your sorry hide. Now let's see what you got for me. This is your monthly haul or what's popping out of your Okay, or oh, what pooped out of your asshole this morning? Once a sluggard, always a sluggard. Slaggers, sloth, sluggards. The lot of you. The 789 are no sluggards, go uh, Zoga. No, no, we are uh, not a one. Every day. We, uh, every day do we toil in the mines, slave, sweat, toil from dawn, dawn till dusk, yes. We set down our pickaxes only to eat, to, uh, only to eat, to eat and sleep. Eat, sleep? It would, it seems we have a misunderstanding there, a mistake, a misconception. A misunderstanding. Sleep? Food? These are luxuries, comforts, indulgence. Luxuries. And luxuries, yes, luxuries are for kobolds who can dig their own weight. You earn nothing. You deserve nothing. You are nothing. No ration for a month or until you increase your haul a, a hundredfold. Which comes last. Wow. But Zoga, we are already weak. Weak, weak and hungry. Cut off our food supply and we will starve with a die. Then die. Yes, yes, die. Each day you live. Uh, your, your breath, our air, you breathe our air and eat our food. And give nothing in return. You're a parasite, Gigu. A leech. A sponge. A parasite. Your very existence keeps us from achieving our potential. But I... But I can think of one way you might be of use. Yes, yes. The shiveries carcasses of you... And your... Wait, what? Yes, yes, the shiv... Sh shri shriveled? The shriveled carcass of you and your lot could feed our furnace. Oh, okay. Father fuel feed for your bed. Oh, okay, this is getting dark as hell. You cannot mean what you say, Zoga. No, no, this must be some cruel joke, a jest, I... The only joke around here is you, Kiku. I'll not repeat myself this time. A hundredfold. Uh, one... Ons less. And you'll be the first to burn? Single sizzle burn? Oh. Okay, let's go, ladies. Wait there, ladies? Yes, yes. The strength of sloth, sloth and stupidity in this dump is making me sick. Remember, ladies, this is the faith of those who don't dig their own weight. Now, I do believe it's time for that steam bath. <laughs> yeah, I would whimper as well. A hundred times that... Or a hundred times his own weight. Well, wow, that's that's brutal. Oh, woe is me. Misery, unfortune, woe. What in the seven hells just happened? I come back from Camp Overlook only to see some overstuffed kobolds strutting around like they own the place. You are not wrong. No, no. Your words are true. Goza leads the 13th. Yes. 
and his many friends and followers in Ugram Maru Maru. His power grow grows with each day. With each day, one less cobalt challenged the word of Goza. Soon, none will be left to oppose him. No, no, not a one. So, what you're saying is that you're just going to let that self styled tyrant walk all over you? Yes. We have no choice, no recourse, no refuge. No refuge? What kind of an answer is that? Ain't, ain't you got a shred of dignity in your whole body? But I think this is kinda, kinda hard on him. No. No, I don't. No. <laughs> nope. Okay. Look. I don't know your cobalt hieroglyphs from uh, from a hole in the ground. What I do know is that if anyone talks to me like that, I'd go to the seven hell and back to cut him down to size. But you're strong, bold, brave, strong, and I am... Lemanian, have mercy. I can't stand to look. At the sorry lot of you. Are you kobolds or dormice? Look, you might not have the spine to stand up for yourselves, but Una here and I sure as hells do. Ain't that right, Una? Just tell us where we can find the Zoga. You do not. You know not what you say. No, no, you know nothing. It's pure madness to oppose Goza. Fully insane madness. The only thing what's driving me mad is your endless wailing. That settles it. I'm not leaving the stinking hole till Goza falls on his hands and knees before me begging of mercy no ifs ands or buts about it but <laughs> did you just say something <laughs> no no nothing at all completely lost the spine there all right uh, unfortunately we need to switch back to the marauder okay there's no point in switching back and forth it seems goza does not Suffer opposition lightly. No, not in the least. If we can cross, if we cross him, we will. He will crush us. We are doomed, cursed, damned, doomed. Oh, adventurer, do not leave us. No, no, you must not go. The Rugadi woman frightens me even more than Zogra. Horrifies, terrifies, and frightens. But we have no choice. No, no, we have none. You will protect us from Zoga's bullying. Yes, 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 you will. Eagerly, emphatically, all heartedly. Oh, adventurer, you are too kind, gracious, generous, kind. Yes, yes, kind, and opposing the strength of a hundred gold. And possessing the strength of a hundred gold. Yes, yes. A hundred cobalt. You do not need Gigu's help. No, no, you do not. Good luck fighting goes, adventurer. I wait words of your triumphs over victory. Your success. Are you kidding me? I have, I have to... Okay, so that will give us the trial. We have a neutral relationship. Cobalt trials are fatal. Okay, what do we want to do? Furthermore, you need... To Purchase wares. Hey, how we doing, man? What's up, Mr. Fre Frederick? Furthermore, you may now purchase wares. Okay, I want to see what wares they got. Like, are they good? Oh, this, this is a nice spoiler, isn't it? Ah, uh, I'm doing good. Uh, training went well today. Shooting range was closed, which was absolutely <laughs> a fucking joke. Um, purchase item.
Oh, you can actually get Quicksilver from here. We can scale blood, bomb ash. Okay, where do we get that? Um, Titan Cobalt? Ex what? It's also the same. So here is your. What's this? Outdoor furniture. Oh, cool. Cobalt furnace. We could start burning our own cobalt. Yes. Um, otherwise, I'm doing good, man. Um, just finally playing some game. I've been waiting for this the entire weekend. How about you? Unidentified ore? What do we have? Currency exchange? Nothing. Beastman currency. I was told I could get like a mount. Can I not get a mount? Um, hells have no fur, know your place. Do I really want to do these? I'm not sure if I want to. I'm definitely not now. Definitely not now. Uh, we need to go back to Limsa. There was another one, level 44. Uh, we most likely need to go and check out the other city-states. Oh, okay. Like, what kind of quest do they... Like, is it just fighting? Is it... Like anything I could do because I don't have any of the gathering classes. Okay, it's fighting. Uh, we could actually do that. Uh, except the Exali, yeah, they're crafting. Yeah, we won't be able to do the Exali anytime soon. Um, Let the hunt begun is level 50. They came from the deep. Sounds like a dungeon, but I'm not sure. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, this is the fish, guys. Your, he uh, your hearing must be exceptional, Sergeant Dosen. Hmm. If you did not overhear the Link Pearl report, then why, well, no, no matter. You're here now, and we could certainly use your aid. I have just received word that raiders have sunk a civilian vessel in the Strait of Mer Merltor. One of our warship is en route as we speak, though I fear there will be little left for them to find. I am uncomfortable familiar with details of pirating loot uh, pirates looting and even commandeering their targets, but to sink a ship entirely. and. Ex wow, excessively brutal act, even for a buccaneer. No, I wager cold hard coin that those tries damned fishbacks are behind this. Them and their serpent river lackeys. The Shagarin have much to answer for. Vengeance will be forthcoming. But let us first focus on rescuing that poor, the poor souls we may. While the warships soars the water, I would have you head to Eastern Anosia and look for any survivors washed up in the sand and bloodshore. Blood well, it's kind of idyllic, right? It's called Bloodshore. And they were washed up there. I don't, I don't think there's any survivors. One of my soldiers, Private Rilfalk, finally a name I can pronounce, I'm very happy about that, has been deployed to coordinate the search. Speak with him when you arrive, and he will direct your efforts to where they are most needed. Uh, may Limzai guide your steps. Oh, it's a funny brutal thing. What the hell is that? It looks cool. Alright, blood shores it is. 
Oh, wait, this is the other guys. Never mind. I thought they were the the ones like in um Illport? Yeah, I think it's Illport. We're almost level 45. That means that Curious George will have a mission for us. I want to join it, Faith. Go away. I'm not sure if these are at fault. You're the one Commander Ricky said to expect, and I'm Will Falk, a private in the Commodore's Foreign Levy. Oh, okay. As you can see, there ain't much for me to coordinate. The fishbacks made a good mess of that ship. Seems barely a handful of the poor buggers. What was sailing on it made it a sure life. Where... Where am I? Where's Robin? Where's my son? Now you just calm yourself down, good wife. Wait, she's called good wife? <laughs> no. We'll have your boy back in your arms before you can spit another lungful of seawater. Oh, that's what she's... She's not crying. She's still coughing up seawater then. The tide's been merciful to the fortunate few, like the good wife here, and carried them all the way to the beach. Here. You'll be needing some of me medical supplies for the bleeding and the injured. Take a walk along the coast now and help them as any beyond helping. As any ain't beyond helping, okay. If they're beyond helping, then uh, just deal with it, I guess. There's a few of here. Uh, let's start with you. Injured crewman. Uh, Wave slammed me into the rocks. They cut me up some. They cut me up some. I think it's bad. Eh, I think you're doing fine. Yeah, have a potion. You'll do fine. It's only a flesh wound. Me thanks. I feel much stronger now. All I remember is an impact like bloody thunder and the deck lurching beneath my feet. Then they came aboard. Okay. Here's another wounded one. I can barely breathe. I'm aiding him. Thank you, thank you. Which of seven heavens is this? Blood sure? Oh... Another wounded survivor. Uh, I I made it. One moment we were sailing along happy as you please. The next I was struggling to keep my head above the waves. Then why did you not throw away your cap or your weapon? Makes no sense. Ah, me shoulder, it burns. Don't take me arm, I'm begging you. Wait, are you just... Wait. This seems like one of those, how do you call them? Um... Ah... Oh. Jellyfishes. Is that it? Uh, let me pee over your shoulder, mate. Apparently, that is not the remedy. Don't tell anyone else. Ah, I can feel my fingers again. Those gutless fishbacks. They were over the rail and swinging a fourth. I could temper out a prayer to the navigator. Let's uh, summon him back. Do that again. There you go. Let's talk to the private again. We'll do fine. You say, uh, you have saved some lives today, Les. It's a terrible thing what happened. 
but your take your take was solid. You can in the little victories. Not that any amount of solens will have me forgiven those blasted fishbacks. Yeah, except you expect attacks on the navy. That's what we signed up for. But sinking a civilian ship with women and children aboard, the Shagarins have ice water for blood, I tell you. No, not my little Robin. My condolences, good wife. I know how hard this must be. How do you know? Leviathan scaly arse. Uh, Min is lucky not affected too much by the delay. Yeah, actually, it it is. Uh, I'm not struggling too much by the the switch to the American server. Sagar in here. Yeah? I can do that. What? You didn't get your fill of slaughter out on the straight. If you want to finish the job you started, then you best start with me. Alright, okay, I don't have to piss all the time, right? Oh, is he the chieftain? I think he is a lot more golden than any of the other lads. There you go. I think it's Robin. Mum. Mum. Oh, Robin, my darling Robin. Mum, there you are. Oh, my dear Robin, you're saving the twelves above. I don't get it. Okay. So they sink a ship, then save a child. It's so strange. The lads alive, what manner of fishback trickery is this? I don't know. Yeah, let's talk to Robin here. I'm fine if a bit wet. I thought I would sink right to the bottom of the sea, but then some nice fishmen came and saved me. They were not like the scary ones that came after our ship. But the stories say that all fishmen are nasty. Isn't that odd? Hmm. Might I ask you a favor? I found this necklace at the bottom of the little boat the nice fishmen used to carry me to this shore. I'm certain it must be one of theirs. Oh, I think these are the ones for Illport, isn't it? I take it back to them myself, but I don't think my mum would like that. Could you maybe return it for me? The last I saw, they were swimming towards Westrun Lenosia. That must be where they live. I wonder if their houses are made of seaweed. Uh, okay, I guess. Yeah, okay, so let's go to Illport. Oh, we just figure it out. Do I want to do all of these? Um, how do you call them? Um, tribal, tribal thingies. Yeah, I think we could do that. 
Like, why not? That is so sad. Spend your time building a castle just to get like these crystals inside of it. That I don't know. I wouldn't like that. Okay, let's uh let's fix repair gear. And I do have to get um, those crystals before my uh, my coffers are full. I'll I'll go over which ones I think I want to keep. Probably not too many, but we'll just see where we'll uh, where it leads. Oh, look at that! We actually have some we need to kill over here. Uh, how was that again? Like this, yeah. see if we need more I think we would need three or so wait are we just what are you doing dude wait they're already at 75 progress is someone actually fighting them no then I don't mind. It's fine. What's the meaning of this trespass? I should skewer you where you stand, finless one. You carry the necklace of Clutchfather Nov. Now, is it that you... How is it you possess... This a cherished treasure. Uh, you come at the behest of the child he saved. Such unusual manners for a shore walker. You may pass. Seek out uh, clutch father, Nov, and be sure to keep your tongue respectful. He is the elder of our clan. Rare is it to see a shore walker in our midst. I am Nov, clutch father of this clan of Spawnlings. Ah, the finless child bid you return my necklace, did he? No, I had no special reasons to, uh, for saving the boy. Only that for the Shagarin. It is for your... Only that for the Shagarin, as it is for your Shorewalks. Offspring are considered the most precious of treasures. All that reside here are bound by ties of blood. All are the children of the Clutch Farm. Man, you have not been sitting still. Only slightly less precious to me than my spawn is that trinket you bring. It was a gift. A commod commendation, a commendation from our beloved uh, matriarch. I thank you for returning it to me. We have a saying: the favor of one is repaid by the gratitude of the clutch. I welcome you to our home. Perhaps a mother's banquet is in order. I do not know, however, if your Spread will agree with our with your shore walkers stomach. Yeah, I, I don't think so. I, I think you kind of like it raw.
Time's up. Okay, a time is up for the chain. Uh, clutching kin. You witness the aftermath of an attack in the Strait of Meltor. Yes, it was indeed prepared by the Shingo. No, I didn't witness. Yeah, well... Yeah, okay, it could, you could call the aftermath, yeah, sure. The individuals responsible are called the Coral Tridents. They reside in the spawning grounds as... Uh, and are known amongst our people as a violent and fanatical faction. We had hoped to prevent them from ever reaching that vessel, but alas. The current was not in our favor. Foolishness. Their actions only invite further violence through retaliation. And what of the North and his clutch, you ask? We live apart from the spawning grounds and pursue a separate ag agenda. I do not claim our... I do not claim to understand the structure of your civiliz uh, civ uh, civilization. But for us, Shagagin, each clan of clutch mates is led by a single clutch father. Okay, this guy. The... Indigo Matriarch, what you might call our Queen, bestows each clutch of her eggs upon only the bravest and most seasoned warriors. It is then a clutch father's duty to raise and instruct his char uh, charge in the ways of our people. But for this cycle to continue, the matriarch must have a secure environment in which to bear her offspring. Which is why we choose to make this land our home. It is unfortunate then that the uh, Sapa spawn grounds have become the locus of such conflict. If only more shore walkers were like you and spend a moment to understand our situation. Clutch father, I need your counsel. What have I taught you, Sue? A Shagagin does not flo flow, flail and splash about so. He rolls with the waves and rides the currents. Forgive me, Clutch father. I, it's Pew, our sixth youngest brother. What of him? He has left the nursery without permission. He spoke of talking sense into the call tridents. His brain is as soft as the spawning as as his spawning scale. And this is the time and this at a time we when I cannot afford to take my eyes of the rest of the clutch. Through your assistance uh, today, through our, do our stance towards each other is not yet clear, Shorewalker. I would ask a boon of you. Save my foolish son. So here, uh, here, uh, here will have more to say on the subject. I right, fine. Man, this, 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 this English man. English. You have no scales, and yet the Clutch Father seems to trust you. I shall do the same. As you just heard, my brother Piru has taken it upon himself to educate the Coral Tridents. He is one of our more impetuous spawn brothers. And, and yet young, he does not realize the peril he puts himself in. The Tritons will not listen to Pure's reasoning. They will laugh as they impale him on their spears. Please, 
bring Piru back safely from the uh, to the nursery. But now he must he must be some distance across the land base, closer to the north tide gate. All right. Man, this, this this list of things to ever do is becoming extremely long. Uh, we should actually just kill these guys as well. Can we just get you? It's one. I wonder what it, um, what skill we'll learn from George uh, when we level at 30, uh, 45. Please don't attack me. Okay, before we get in there, will he attack? What business have you? Um, say it again. Well, never mind. It's fine. This concerns you not, Shore Walker. Away with you, finless one. Start with that as well. What was he thinking? There we go. Looking the part. This feels like one of the easier things to do. Like their language is a bit easier for me to read. Rescued by Shorewalker, what I am to tell the gl the Clutch Father Nov, hmm? Spawn Brother Shu bid you to come to my aid. I do not understand these Coral Trident Warriors. I scarce opened my maw before they proceeded to beat me bloody. The Clutch Father always says that the curtain... Uh, uh, Currents of discussion, uh, discussion carry us to enlightenment, but it seemed the words of a spawning count count for little and less. I simply wanted to put into practice what my clutch mates and I have been taught. Now I surely face a punishment in addition to my beating. Well, that's on you, mate. Yeah, we'll just head back. Now, I wonder, should we just head over to the other locations and just do this mission? I think we should just get rid of all of them. Um, from what I know, there might be two more. With exception of the Exile, because I do not have a crafter. Okay, it's, uh, it's not. Welcome back, Shorewater. 
You are kind to endanger yourself. Do you owe us no such loyalty? Piru will be appropriately disciplined for his reckless actions. Now more than ever, the Shagagin must act with caution and wisdom. Many of our people reside peacefully within our city in the Indigo Deep, but our civilization faces a steadily and treacherous decline. We must venture onto land and secure spawning grounds to lay our eggs and build nurseries to raise our young. It is an essential element of our breeding cycle and instincts too powerful to ignore. Our traditional spawning grounds were, however, annihilated in the calamity. Thus, were we forced to, se uh, to seize a new location, a region, the finless one called Western Leonosia. Oh, that, that's actually it. Okay, I, I'm, I'm glad they explain what the hell they're doing in here then. It's not surprising that the Shorewalkers view our sudden aggressive expansion as not more than an invasion, but this seamlessly unprovoked attack on their territory is, in truth, a desperate struggle for survival. Without this land, without a place to rear offspring, the Shagagin race is doomed. We are in no position to wage war against the Shorewalkers. We must attempt to parley and learn to exist side by side. The Coral Tritons, as you have no doubt realized, do not comprehend the merits of a diplomatic approach. They seek only to control the weak of minds, those like their brutal serpent reavers, and slaughter all other who oppose them. Do not mistake me as a traitor of my kin. I hold no love for finless ones. I shed no salty tears when the great Leviathan is summoned and the Lord of the World gathers new drowned shorewalkers to his foe. Wow, okay. But conflict with our people is not the answer to our woes. We must look beyond the present and ensure calmer waters, water in which the future of our race can thrive. Sure, Walker, your, arri your arrival is a precious gift. I would have you become the first stone in that bridge I hope to build between our people, and the rock that blunts the mindless spear of the coral tritons. I pray you, lend us your aid. I swear myself to a noble cause, and then I'll just mimic them and make fun of them by saying, Psst. Your presence is most welcome, Shorewalker. My warriors are eager, but lack the experience to engage such vicious opponents as the Coral Tritons. We will halt the Zealots' advance and the shoreline at the shoreline and begin to repair the damage that they've done to our chan uh, to our chance of peace there is much work ahead but together we can put an end to this meaningless bloodshed i i i i i, I agree. why not sure go for it quest completed i wonder uh, what they have because that's also a tribal we're now neutral with them and we can do stuff. Cool. Uh, where's the vendor? There is a vendor. Let's take a look. What do you have? Night milk, sun lemon, wheat, cinnamon, garlic, black pepper. I, I, that's, that's not interesting at all. Oh, you can get venture tokens from them as well. So, okay, so one of those tokens will give seven ventures. Unless I am not correct. But that's how I see it. So that's actually a good deal. That's a very good deal, actually. Uh, one venture is 100 points, so that's 700 points. Identified shell, night milk, some cinnamon. Okay, this is actually the same stuff. And then dies. 
And we have a sugar and living lamp. And a hanging lander. Okay. What else? I don't think there's any in here. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, let's take a look. So these guys, that's two. So we have uh, Camp Overlook and we have Aleport. I don't think there's more in this land. Black Shroud will go to Haltron Hut. I think the, uh, the this this the Sylphs. I think it's Sylphs, right? I have to be careful not to say the Sims live here. Because they don't. Is there a mission in here or do I have to go like... I most likely have to go to Gradania. Is that it? I think so, yes. I don't think it's Limsa. Let's go to Gradania. Let's take a look what they say. And I might still miss a bunch of these blue quests. A bad bladder? A bad bladder. Level 1. Is, th is that new? Do, do we need to go to like the bathroom or something? I don't think so. Let's go take a look at that. A bad bladder. Okay, so this looks as the Ixali. Can I do that when I do not have a crafter? Can I at least unlock it? We can check it out. Uh, we have ourselves a situation. Our scouts uh, our scout out at Itat Spine have sent word that the Ixali are attacking their positions. They report that they have already wedded and southern strafe and run by one of the Birdman blasted war balloons and casualties were high. Have you ever seen these beastmen dear rule of this? Uh, you can unlock it, but there's no actual reputation quest. Okay, well that's cool. I'll, I'll live with that. The Exile... Because I, I, last time I just completely forgot to unlock him. Even though I did have this quest, I completely neglected it. Um, I need to remember not to get rid of those um, gloves. Hey, my dogs need to go outside. Uh, 1 hour 30. Um, no, no, we're not. Uh, let's take a look. So, have you ever seen these beastmen diggables? Diggables. Diggables. The exiles stalk them with explosive munition and rain hell upon their targets below. Even should they float within a bow range, the balloon skins are thick and difficult to penetrate. Though it can be done, thus the spires were constructed throughout. The 12 foot Argradania's Agri first line of defense against an assault from the air. It's frustrating indeed then that recent conflict have left them undermanned. I need you to head into the Northern Shroud immediately and lend your strength to the garrison. I'm certain cap the captain will appreciate the help. Alright. Oh, I can just... Oh, that's easy. Uh, we'll take the... The gate over there. Let's go. And uh, not over there. One up. I completely got sidetracked, right? I was going to do the main storyline. But those blue quests, they are important. And we do need to do them. So we need to be up there. Can I get... Let's get our chocobo. Can we get up here? 
It seems that we can. So this is a captain. Oh no, this is a lieutenant. Scarlet Sand. No, no, he is the captain. Lieutenant Scarlet Sand, you, you say. Praise Nofika. Though I believe the word, the, the worst of the danger has passed. What few soldiers I command are both wounded and weary. It was a well-placed shaft. That was our salvation. A private's arrow managed to punch a hole clear through the balloon's air bladders. Forcing the exile vessel to thunder, uh, fl flunder? Down into the trees. Ha! Huh. You could hear the squeaking from there. I must admit, however, to feeling a moment of dread at the thought of that war balloon uh, slimping past and drifting over the city walls. Thank the gods and a certain private that such a fate did not come to pass. N uh, nevertheless, we are in no shape to repel the exile. Should they prove able to press the attack, Bray head north to Peace Garden and see what has become to their downed craft. Okay. Uh, where the hell is that? It's up there. Okay, let's go. Uh, it seems to be over here. Oh, we don't. Oh, okay. Well, it, it kind of looks good. Hey, war balloon debris. Investigate the wall. Okay, we did that. Level 3. Why was I actually not going through that? It's not... They won't be attacking me any anyway, so... Let's go back to the captain then. Here we are. Did you find the down balloon? Was the vessel... Yet sound? Was the vessel yet sound? Hmm. I'm not sure if this came from the birdsman's craft or is part of another contraption entirely. There can, however, be no doubt that it's one exactly design. I'm back. I'm still at work. No, you don't have to apologize. Look, I know you're from England and I know that it's it's definitely work time. So you don't have to apologize. I'm just happy to see, uh, see you here. Hopefully your day will end soon, and your travel home is going to be swift. War balloons, such as the one you saw, were invented by the exile to assert their dominions over the skies. That's that clever. Uh, these vessels allow them to avoid our ground-based patrols and infiltrate the Twelve Wood with impunity. And the beastmen use them not only for acts of war, but also to haul away the trees felt by their ever-expanding logging operation. It was to combat this unwelcome and destructive presence that we built guard towers throughout the forest, though I imagine the Exile were quite displeased to find our borders thus reinforced. Yeah, who's invading whom? Was the Exile here first before these people got the elements approval to settle uh, Gradania like four or five hundred years ago? I don't know. I, I'll pro I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm going to assume the Exile were there first. In fact, the primar uh, primary purpose of this day's attack may well have been the destruction of Vital Spire itself. I'm torn. We must not weaken our defenses here. I, uh, but I would be certain our enemies. Do, but I would be, but I would be certain our enemy does not lurk nearby, awaiting an opportunity for sabotage. Oh, weird sentence, man. I would ask you 
to once more visit the crash site and search the surrounding areas for signs of our foes. I pray what my I pray that my concern are not more than the anxious working of a tired mind. Great. Could you not have given me a link shell or anything? Speaking of link shells, I got command of the link shell on my other character. And I kind of need to add Une because at some point Une is going to be taking over completely. Uh, do I need to be up here? Oh no, it is a storage pot! Oh my god, I'm not going to say squeak, get away from there, no feathers. Ours to dismantle war balloon is. Wait, our, ours to dismantle war balloon is. Are these like Yoda fellas? Speak weirdly, they do. Touch what is ours, you must not. Rights of salvage, yes, rights of salvage. Alright, that's it. Off with your hat. Enough. So must. So much screeching and showing, then treating nothing featherless one has. Oh my god, these guys are going to be annoying, aren't they? I can't read. You know, English for me is difficult as hell, and this doesn't make it easier. Weird. Look at you, man. Fancy helmet. He is Chief Totaluk. Alright then. Hold part we sought, no feathers does. Search through re wreckage for nothing we did. Oh my god, they are annoying. We believed Fletchling. Calm down, you will. Speak with featherless one. Sezul Shaw. Hmm. Oh, so he's Sezul. Could he not just say Tokaluk? Tokaluk is actually easier than Sezul. Sezul. Maybe not. Hmm. Could you be artisan? No, clothing all wrong. It is garb for honest work, is it not? Raise your weapon not. Exile we are, but not same kind that attacked your tower. Balloon part uh, you took value to us is little, yes? Have it from you, we would. <laughs> they, they are Yoda. They are. Oh, man. My brain. Not by force, no. And not for nothing. We make deal, yes? Ins inside gate. You come, show you our work in return, says Ushal. But chieftain, mean to let featherless one inside, you cannot. Spread our secrets, she will. Question, chief, you will not. Sezul's decision, is it? Shut screechy beak before plucked and strung from... From nearby tree branch you are. Wow, okay. He's... he apparently has men enough. Yeah. Fancy look, Fedor Lewis Le one has. Look forward to next meeting, Shazel does. If that guy is still around, because I think he's going to die. Listen well, no feathers. If chiefs trust you betray, flay skin from worthless bones we shall. Okay. Okay, 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 that's cool. That's fine. That's, uh, this, this not, clearly not walking into this trap. Uh, once we're done with this little bit, I will let the dogs out because they will be annoying otherwise. And I'm not sure actually because he will be rolling in the grass. <laughs> so obnoxious. Uh, oh there. 
Brave you are to walk into... Oh my god, I need to let him out right now because he's getting annoying. Give me a second, please. Uh, 7 p.m. UK time. Are you ahead of us? I think so. I think you're ahead of us. It would be like... Uh, like one and a half hours from now? Is, is that it? I, I could be online, yeah. Not for a long time, because I have to pick up my wife at 8 p.m. Amsterdam time. Let me take a look real quick. Um... Uh, would be 7 p.m. London to Amsterdam. Oh, that's 8. Oh, okay. Um, 7 p.m. is going to be difficult. I need to be in my car at 10, uh, 10 minutes before 8. Oh, I will have... Uh, Thursday, we'll do the uh, the nightly event. Right? So... Yeah, okay. Yeah, that will be difficult, mate. That will be difficult. Because... I don't think... Uh, I will definitely not be able to play during my evening. Uh, my wife likes my hobby, but it has to be a hobby. And... Wednesday, I'll have a morning stream. Thursday, I will have the same stream as now, but I'll start later, like at 4 p.m. And then at... Of course I did. How could I have missed that? Um, I did let go of that one guy, like I said, I would. Um, I will talk to you later. I don't know if you know him personally. Uh... There is a way for his return, and I actually have a... Uh, let's take a look. No, it is fine. I, I didn't get an important message at all, so that's fine. Um, anyways, let's let's continue because otherwise I'll be sidetracked even more. And I was actually in the um, in the I was hoping to get to uh, the end of a realm reborn this week. Yeah, not with my reading, I won't. Brave you are to walk into Excel Den. No such camp exists, you did not, eh? Now, have that balloon part and your name, Cecil Wood. Okay. Yes, yes. Search long for this. We have. Thank you, Unedo. How do you know my name? I love the drawing over here, though. No, uh, know you what it is, hmm? It's a special stone used for making instruments of reading speed of wind, only found in Exalphados. Quite rare, very rare. Even clever Sazel cannot build such instrument without it. Seem confused, you do. You wonder why Sazel not go to Exalphados? Follows and fetch stone himself. Well, tell you why, says you will. We are not like exile of Nephil and other places, no. Fighting with forest people, outcasts we are. Call ourselves a cat nine. A kettle oh it's a kettle nine. A kettle nine. I like it's it's a, a cat. But it's no exclamation mark, it's a kettle nine. Impressive, yes. Had nicer sound than a kettle twelve or so. But one purpose we have. To fly free like wind. For war with forest people or pleasing greedy gods, we care not. Fixed on the heavens our eyes are. Alright. Um... Uh, Quest sync. 
Okay, so this would involve a... Yeah. A Disciple of the Hand, level 1. And I don't have any of them, so that is where that will end. Uh, let us go back to Gridania. But yeah, man, I, 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 just, I cannot thank you enough. Um, the I, I would not have expected five days to double the size of the free company. For those of you who don't know, we're currently at 38. Uh, and it's perfect. I'm, I, what I will do is I will keep a close eye on activity. Um, so Orbi will most likely be gone. Um, Enon's heart... And then every time they reach like 30, what I told you, uh, I will just get rid of them. Unless they know you gave me like a a good reason. My dogs are barking. They want to go in. Unfortunately, I think I will have to brush them real quick. So give me five. Yeah, 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 definitely. So, sorry for that. Um, I'm back inside. One of them was absolutely looking like, um, how do you call them? Like these um, these straw bales. Uh, he's been rolling in the grass. He looks disgusting. Absolutely. Activity matters to me very much. I agree. Uh, 30 days is definitely like, poof, that's it. Unless we give people like the inactive roll, then we know why they are here. And I think that's going to be... Most important, most important, just to be active. And actually, you know what? I've been looking at that, and that's actually been brilliant. It's all the way over here. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Uh, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one people. Online in tw in a day. It's perfect, man. You, you absolutely. I don't know how you do it. Absolutely, I don't know how you did it. It's absolutely fantastic. Can't thank you enough. Anyways, uh, we could. How many achievement points do I actually have? We have six. That's enough for one mount. But I don't know which one yet. So yeah, let's not worry about that. Let us talk to this one. The Seeking Solens. Oh, this is... They speak so annoying. Ah, now here's a woman who inspires confidence. It hurts me to see you stride into the Atlas Nest today. For I have a task of considerable breath and greater import. 
a task that calls out for a competent adventurer. And <laughs> you struck your luck with me, dude. Allow me to elaborate. In recent weeks, my eye have been drawn to unusual movements along the sylphs. So, uh, those charming yet troublesome beastmen with whom we share our forest home. How about the Ixal? You share them with the Ixal as well, yet you don't speak of them in hopes of shedding light on their intentions. Uh, be they malicious or benign. I dispatched a young researcher to Little Solens to investigate further. The fellow goes by the name of Joyce. Mayhap you have heard of him. I would seem, it would seem, he is rather accomplished in his field. He set out a fortnight ago and has been sending regular reports ever since, that is, until some three days passed. Though he was quick to assure me that this, that his prodigious intellect and survival skills would ensure his safety, I cannot help but fear he has come to harm. Such is my request to you, travel to little Solens and inquire as to the well-being of our man. Seek out the sylph Olomixio, who has often acted as an intermediately of inter intermediate in the intermediary intermediary between our people. Now go in safety and in haste. The forest holds many dangers these days more than ever. Okay, I'll, I'll go with haste. You know, you didn't have to make a story out of it. You know, this is an MMO. You can just say, go to A, do B, then return to me with C. That's how it works. But no. No, he doesn't. Let's go. I really consume a lot of water playing this game, that is for sure. I will be up there. Okay, that's great. Uh, there's the vendor. Wait, we can already take a look? Yeah, no way. No way. Uh, go away, bird. Walking one with the strength... Uh, Walking one walks with strength and purpose, yes. But this one is busy one. State one's case and state it quickly. Scholar, walking one is looking for smart one, yes? This one knows no smart one. This one does not. Bung, uh, bumbling. This one does no bumbling. Strumbling one. Are you kidding me? He's bumbling and strumbling one? What business would anyone have with that one? Stumbling one's whereabout? Why right over... Where did the one bumble off to? <laughs> Fuck's sake. <laughs> Bumbling one likely stumbled off to see Elder One. Stumbling one is always bothering Elder, uh, elder One with silly questions. Bothersome one's... Blathering makes less sense than babbling brook, but this one thinks of this one thinks. Man, he's going to be obnoxious. I, I would probably send him off to pet uh, one of these uh, fish. I think they're called. Ah, brave one returns to these ones. This one is on it. Words of brave ones' deeds come often to little Solens. These ones are honored to call brave ones friend. Hmm. Brave one in search for scholarly one. Brave one cannot possibly mean that one. This one has met many walking ones, and that one was all, uh, and that one has all the wits of a wing rat. Three days ago, Witless One stumbled off 
to the Sylphlands, babbling something about research. This one knows little of research, but this one does know that the Sylphlands are no place for walking ones. And witless one and witless walking ones that much less. Whatever. Uh, yes, this one ancient home is now the domain of touched ones. And those ones mean danger for those ones and walking ones alike. This one tried to stop witless one, but witless one's ears are stuffed with bee wax. Right. Bee wax. I have to go back and then do what? I should have gone into touched one's lands. But these ones, they talk funny. This one thinks. Bumbling one set up to Silph's land. Bumbling one is even dumber than this one thought. Wow, there you go. There you go. Touched one will greet Bumbling one with boom and sizzle. Then Bumbling one will be crispy one. <laughs> this one thinks it for the best. Wow, this one will have one less worry. Walking one would go in search for that one. This one is confused. Take this one's word. That one's not worth the trouble. This is actually hilarious. Walking one is certain. So, when this one will not stand for walking one's way, or will not stand in walking one's ways, but heed this one's warning. Be wary of dead ones. Will number two. Wait. Be wary or dead ones will number two. By the way, is anyone playing like Path of Exile? Me and my wife, we started it recently. And it's, so far it's been an interesting thing. I know it's very random. And there is the dumb one. Walking one will truly go in search of bumbling one. This one thought walking one was make joke. Like the time this one stole bumbling one's undergarments. <laughs> Oh, this one does not understand what walking one is thinking. This one would leave bumbling one to bumble on one's own. Oh, well. Each to each one's to each one one's own. This is one this one saw bumbling one stumble off towards Larkskull. Between this place and touched one's homes, bumbling one is probably there shivering in stockings. If bumbling one found stockings anyways, which this one doubts. Be warned, walking one. The trees have eyes and report to touched ones. Walking one should not rush too quickly to bumbling one's aid. Last walking one falls into nasty trap. Okay, let's go. Where, where, how deep do we need to go? Actually, not that deep. Uh, why am I not on my chocobo? Oh, well. Now, it's possible that we'll see another one of those things we need to kill. Uh, speaking of that, did we kill enough of those... Uh, other yeah I f yeah oh, we did so there is actually the alma ja Plug plugalist and there is the sylvian uh, sign which is probably over here somewhere so if we come across that one then this one will kill that one in that fashion as well oh, you got to be kidding me don't poison me go are oh, you bastard another one Okay, right, well, um, heal. Uh, poison is only for 14 seconds, so that's actually not too bad. Why did I press F4?
All right, we'll worry about those things later. What's voice? Hey, he's actually over there. Oh, and there's three of them. Okay, destination over there. What up, buddy? Oh, actually, it's a whole bloody crowd. Let's cook him. Walking one scribbles letters. Maybe walking one is smart one that everyone was talking about. How do you know? Oh. Oh, he looks absolutely amazing. I want to play like that. Smart one. <laughs> smart one would think not stumble so stupidly into these one's domain. Someone help me. They'll eat me alive. Yeah, they will. Just stupid one. This one has no need for eating. Or did stupid one not read that... In stupid one's paper stack. Stupid one is even stupider than this one thought. Now answer this one, stupid one. To sneak into these one's home. And kidnap chosen one's potling, yes? Stupid one will confess. Or stupid one will be... Shocky sissy one. Ah, uh, chosen one? Potlings? There we go. It's a nice one. Ah. Did this one know or did this one... Wait, what, what? Did this one know it or did this one know it? Oh, he just repeats himself, that's fine. But this one, uh, I was just repeating what you... Oh, you are an idiot. As I mentioned, just say uh, if you appear, it is not... It is, I've been really actually enjoying it. It's been... Actually very interesting. Silence, this one here is sneaky one. What one goes there? Hey, time to fight. This one knows, boss one. This one has been walking one in little silence. Walking one is strong, not like stupid one. Ah, this one will deal with stupid one one uh, another day. Let this one be off. Wait, is he only going? Oh, they're all going. Okay, that's easy. Man, there's the idiot one. And switch most of uh, of me things. I play that with a group, which. Oh man, I'm sorry. To, I'm sorry to hear that. I am. We don't play as often. Uh, my wife gets very tired uh, while playing that, because well, she has a nerve nerve problem. So we'll we'll just play recently. It's the same name I'm using usually. So you can add me to your friends list if you want. We're aiding him. Can we just not carry him away? Oh friend, how can I ever repay you? Why I thought I was a goner for sure. Whatever do you suppose gotten into those sylphs? The beasteries describe them as such a carefree fun loving folk. And my rather limited first hand experience has been the same but do tell to whom i owe the debt of gratitude an adventurer dispatched by the tour by the order of the twin edda on behalf of little old me you say <laughs> bless, the, bless the commander always looking out for uh, for his charge well i'd like nothing more than to continue this conversation would you mind terribly if we did so back at little solens this place gives me the jibbies, weeby jibbies, or whatever. Yeah, we'll we'll worry about getting those FC tokens later. Could we do it without being attacked? Um. Well, me neither. Of course, I just started, but so far, the the one thing I like least about the game, uh, and that will be probably. A when uh, all I will say about the game so far, because this is of course Final Fantasy and nobody cares about the Path of Exile, is that the inventory is absolutely tiny. 
That's what I don't like about it so far. Anyways, let's go. I don't want to stray too far off the game. Oh, hello, I say. It's good to see you in one piece. You say that to me. See you in one piece. Um, Brought comedies to uh, Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Bought commodities. Uh, but where are my manners? I've not properly introduced myself. Uh, Voice, Gradania's former scholar uh, of Sylphic Customs and Law. At your service. Well... At least that's what I told the commander when I volunteered for this mission. Just between you and me, I'm actually rather new to the field. No way! Well, everyone is shocked! But I've been... But I've long been fascinated by the cute little critters. And I thought this is the perfect opportunity to make a name for myself. Which reminds me, I was just tumbling, of course he's tumbling, through one of the tomes I, ah, borrowed from Still Great Fane, when I came across a particularly f fascinating passage of a legendary sylph who is said to possess such power that she controls the very faith of her people. Are we talking about the king? It could be. Now, I realize this might sound crazy, but I could not help but wondering if this might be the self-same chosen one that the frightful sylph was. Chosen one, yes. Where, um, well, does this one know the le- Chosen one, yes. Well, does this one know the legend. There we go. Chosen one, this one who embodies the spirit of all trees that ever have lived or ever will live in this one's forest home. Once every ten thou- ten- well, ten hundred year- ten hundred years? Ten hundred years does Chosen One sprout forth to lead these ones into new era before returning to slumber. Birth and rebirth such is the cycle of this one civilization. Ten hundred years, eh? So, if that last recorded sign of the Chosen One was... Yes. That would mean that the next rebirth would occur in... Just give me a moment now. Yes. Carry the One and... Elder One. Could be that rebirth of Chosen One is nigh. That Chosen Ones are plotting something. Oh, we're talking about the bearded ones, I think. How is he called? The, the, the guy with the beard. I fall him. Uh, the normal and the hard mode, I think. I went as far as a Heaven's Ward, but the, the end of Heaven's Ward and not the pre-Heaven's Ward. And that's when I started this character. Because I skipped all of the conversation. And I didn't know what's going on. And I love the dialogue so far, but it's been an absolute disaster of reading it. Ah, well, it, um, um, well, I'll be, I believe our still friend here has the right of it. This one does not like this at all. Something must be done. Something, yes, something indeed must be done. And yet many questions of import remain to be answered, such as where might we find this chosen one? And what is the true nature of the power she holds? Actually, he's a he and he there is referring to a C, so it's probably not the bearded one. And most importantly of all, where, pray tell, did I misplace my underclothes? I know not if this is related to the coming of the Chosen One, but the Twelfth Wood is terribly chilly these days. Do you honestly believe that losing your undergarments would side the coming of the Chosen One? My god, you are dense. But regardless, I swear now, uh, but I swear now that I shall remain in little solens until these mysteries are unraveled. It was not by dumb luck that I was chosen for this task. No, I esteemed leaders of my nation <coughs> knew that. No, no, they knew that. Ah, uh, my, it's rather cold, isn't it? If you allow me a moment's respite, I need to drink. 
I seriously need a drink. I uh, will talk about with that sylph up there. He's probably like, oh, please leave the idiot, idiot one alone. We should call him dumb one. I like that one. This one is worried. If chosen one falls into the hands of touched ones, it could mean the end for these ones. This one must see to the safety of little Solens. The search of the chosen one, this one would trust to walk in. Well, no, you're just, you're slacking. Coughing one sprouts big words, but has not the strength to save these ones. This can be seen by anyone. And so this one turns to walking ones. Will walking one help these ones? I... Uh, you can count on this one. Thank you, walking one. Walking one is true friend of these ones. This one will not forget friendly one's kindness. How oh, nice. How oh, nice. Alright. Uh, uh, let's take a look. What do we have? Uh, undyed clothed cloth. Undyed... Uh, why, why would I buy this? It's so easy to craft. The price is absolute. That's, that's quite a bit. Silphic silk. Cotton yarn. Linen yarn. Straw. Oh no. Uh, you don't know. Crow feather. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you spend money? You can you can easily make all of this. Cotton ones is just harvestable, and I think that's one as well. I suggest going to the market board. Uh, yeah. Okay. Wait. Are you telling me people are buying from over here and then selling it like ten times the? No. Oh, that would. That's stupid. Why? Oh, well, actually, let's take a look. It's the exchange. Oh, so, one leave is seven. Unidentified, si they can. Oh, that's that's nasty. I don't like that. Uh, this will give you three. No, actually, I, I have seven. And one of those is a venture. That's how I should look at it. Crow feather. Bunch of brown dye. Green dye. A glamour dispeller and tree lamp or lamp tree and a lamp post. The shop selling price, holy crap. Oh, oh, oh of course, yeah. No, 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 never mind. I always confuse those ones. The shop selling price is 26,000, but that's how, it, how much it is if you buy it. You, on the other hand, can sell this amazing lamb tree for the whopping price of 57 gil. Oh, go ahead, give me a second, Helen. Uh, I, Helen. Uh, uh, sorry, I'm streaming, not paying. Ooh, caps. Paying a lot of attention to chat. There we go. Uh, so that one is done. Uh, we'll definitely have to do all of these. Uh, I think we need to go to Ulda. How many do we have now? So we know that there's one we'll have to unlock when we have a crafter. Which is the exile. So that would be four. I think there's five of them in, Heaven's, in A Realm Reborn, right? Because then we need to go to Ulda. Uh, we'll do locking the part. This entire stream has been nothing but these... Um, damn, how are they called again? Uh, tribals. Didn't think that was going to happen. Yeah, there we go. Peace for Talalan. A lot of things. My god, there's so much to do in this game. It's absolutely incredible. I'm constantly overwhelmed by the things you can do. Okay, that's uh. Well, we find ourselves an angel. That's great. Uh, 
Uh, let's go. Yours is a welcome face, Yune. I have a task of which one of your impeccable records would be well suited. Though perhaps campaign would be a more fitting description, given the sheer commitment this mission demands. As you are well aware, the inhabitants of, Tel of Telalan have long suffered hostilities of the Amalja. The lizard men have been quiet for a time, chastened, chastened, whatever, by your victory over the primal Ifrit. But once again, the beastmen stir. There has been a resurgence in kidnappings, and a greater number than before. Matters have grown so far out of hand that the local garrison has petitioned us for reinforcements. That is why I wish you to lead an extended action against the Amalja and put a stop to these raids. Uh, report to the commander, head of the security in the Lalamigo, and he will brief you on the details of your duty. Okay, let me get something to drink because my god, I get a dry throat. Okay, so here we are again. Uh, peace and Taladan in Little Alamigo. Um, since my day on mobile... Also since the day my mobile AC arrived. Where is... <laughs> yeah, that sucks. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I... You know what I find always kind of stupid about like ACs is, is that there's this uh, this hose it's called a hose like a pipe is at the back of it and you'll need to put it outside but you don't want the warm weather to be coming inside but you have to open a window or a door to get rid of the, the, the it, it's, it's Yeah, okay, you need to get rid of the house there something. It's true. Yeah. Kind of productive? Tiny bit? How much energy would that cost? Anyways, who cares about that? But yeah, you know, there's these ones also that just cool the air and only um, get rid of like water or anything. I don't know how well those work. Um, I don't have an AC. Well, it does come with fixtures for different types of window. True. But I will also deal with that window issue. <laughs> you know, it just sounds stupid. Like... Yeah, actually... Like, could they not do... Like, we all know that the AC works by, because of they have some sort of a gas in there. Uh, it's, if, if it's a non-mobile AC, it has this gas fixture or something. I don't know. Could they not place it into that mobile AC? And then you'll just have to get rid of, like, excess water? I don't know. Having it fixed... Having a fixed installation... On would be great, but not my house, so not going to happen. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. What's that? My god, city skylines to news. Who cares about that? Uh, so Helen here wants to redo a dungeon with NPC, but I cannot find the entrance. Um, if, if you unlock. How is it called? The garrison? The garrison. You can enter the dungeon with NPC from over the barracks. Which one? True. Which one? Are we referring to? Uh, while he starts answering that, and he probably is like, "Oh yeah, of course, the garrison." 
Uh, we'll just continue. Commander Swift said he'd assign someone to assist with our growing beastman problem. Glad to see the urgency of our situation has been taken seriously. He is talking about Siren Song C. Siren Song C. Isn't Siren Song on the island? No, I probably I I it's I don't I don't recall the name, so it's most likely um past Heavensward. It's a stormblood way. I don't know it then. Yeah, I've never been this far. Now, as I'm sure the commander explained how much activities in the region has grown almost frenzied. Seems like the lizardmen are determined to carry off every peddler and traveler that tries to pass through the southern Teladon. Uh, might be in Limsa. I cannot do that with my adventure squad, but I can bring run to the thing, the embassy sport in the entrance of the guard. Uh, yeah, let, let me just Google that. I'm committed now. Uh, Final Fantasy 14. It is called the Siren Song C. Uh, where is the Siren Song C? It is in Limsa. It's it's just in 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 Limsa, apparently. Level sixty one sink to level sixty two. I don't want to read too much. I want to want to spoil it. Uh, do I see anything else? No. Okay. Nobody cares about that. Near the Alchemist Guild. Um, near the El. Ah, uh, oh no, Ar Arcanist. Ah, uh, Arcanist Guild. That coordinate does not exist. According, according to Ita. Wait. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know how to type according, so I completely butchered that word. Wait. For what? Alright, well, well, while we wait, we might as well just continue. Uh, and I'm not... Speaking of future divs, nighttime raids here um, of furtive. What's a furtive? Nighttime raids here. The beastmen striking in full daylight, even against escorting escorted merchant caravans. We have heard reports of raids as f uh, so uh, as far as south. As the Sagoli Desert. So it's not a simple matter of increasing patrols on the road into Little Alamigo. We must mount a deciphered response and soon. The next time the Almalja appear. I want you ready and send them howling back into the desert. Not long before you arrived. In fact our scouts reported a merchant resting in plain view of one of the trade routes. Make haste to the location I've marked on your map and see that the fool isn't taken by a raiding party. Um, let's see, he's near the alchemist guild in the harbor which he searched up and down. Okay, let me, let me do that again. Uh, let's go. Say so sing. Entrance. Entrance. Uh, pictures. Um. 
except you can unlock this simple by MSQ in uh, from lies in Mordona unlock guide no Um, it is actually very much in there. Water misery to trigger a cutscene. Spoiling way too much. Maybe you can get in after beating it. I don't know. To be fair. I don't know. He will figure it out at some point. Um, and no even sure if the true system made all the way to Stormblood yet. I'll finish the introduction with Shadowbringers to represent the implement to Arkham. Okay, well, well, we'll see how that will go then. Um, anyways. Uh, let's summon my feathery friend. Give him some more food, he looks hungry. Uh, speaking of that, companion, did you level? No, you did not. That's a bloody shame. And I should most likely get that ring sorted, but I didn't. So let's get out of here. In my case, thank you for your time and say hello to your stream. Um, they helped. Helped. So everyone, hello from it uh, from um, Helen. Yes. I think one of these we need to kill. Uh, apparently not. I did. Alright. Uh, carefree. Yeah, he is carefree, alright. Uh, where the hell do they want me to be? Oh, never mind. Okay. Let's go here. Cool song. I like it. Wow, he is so carefree. He's about to fall asleep. I like that one. Look at them teeth. Yeah, you are absolutely... Okay. Brutal, man. Overconfident fools. You think our raid here go... You think your raids here go unnoticed? What treachery is this? You... You are of the brotherhood, brotherhood of Ash. We are. Though we number but few, we shall be your death this day. Right. Uh, yeah. Hey, MC, how you doing? Treacherous heathens, your victory will come at a price. Yes, he has the highest armor status ever. Absolute highest armor statting. Just nothing tops that. Attacking when the enemy's back is turned. Your ancestors would turn in their graves. Yeah, I'm not going to be using that as a thumbnail. Having fun. I am too. I'm good to see you're having fun bending uh, bots. A soldier's life is one of peril. And the first rule of war is to understand the minds of our enemy as well as our own. I'm doing great. I'm a bit sore <laughs> from yesterday. I was very sore. Your presence is noticed here. Your presence is noted here, adventurer, but this is our battle. You need not 
become involved. At yeah, sorry for that. Let them go. Yeah, you better run. I am Hamuga, and I lead the Brotherhood of Ash. We are what remains now of the all-consuming flame. We are what remain now that the all-consuming flames have reduced the rest of my people to unthinking zealots. Zealots, you interest me, child of Eorzea. It is fortune or faith. I would not ignore the forces that sought to bring us together. I extend to you an invitation to join us at the Ring of Ash. Yeah, I, I'm definitely having fun. Um, you know, there's sometimes you have these these small sentences, that, that tiny bit of dialogue. That is hilarious. making uh, songs uh, oh there's the guy Ooh, nice cave you got there let's take let's take that's a good one I like that have a great luck Welcome to the Ring of Ash, adventurer. This place serves as home for our humble gatherings of soldiers. My brothers and I ever seek to hone our martial prowess and honor the blood of our ancestors. We keep to the old ways of the desert nomads and of the warrior. They who are worthy we show the proper respect regardless of origin. That's quite nice. Your aura. It carries the reek of brimstone. Could you be the one of champions set to have laid low the Lord of Inferno? Then I would have you understand the curse that has befallen our fanatic brethren. They have forgotten the code that governs our people, the glory that comes with a, warri with a warrior's death. They spirited away the weak and the feeble and offered them up in exchange for the bartered blessing of a... Hori God? Hori God? Hori God? Whatever. Day after day I witnessed the shameful act of my kin. The honor of the Amaja is a fate, paltry thing, no longer driven by the righteous fortunes of battle. It is these kidnappings that most stoke of flames, that most stoke the flames of my fury. Why the victims often bear no arms at all? What triumph can be found in such cowardly attacks? We are hunters, are hunters, my brothers and I. And the fallen Amalja who huddle in Zenrix are prey. If you share my outrage, then I bid you to join in our kin war. No, I will not accept this pretender who the hell are you um armor bra you claim you claim to be one of the heroes that felt ifrit i've cut down a dozen men who boasted that feat more likely you slew a godless fire sprite and convinced yourself it was the king of the seventh hell i didn't ask for your counsel lunga 
I and I alone make the decision of the Brotherhood. Hmm. Then you better not st uh, stray into the path of my arrow, adventurer. We have too many enemies for me to waste ammunition on puffed up heroes like you. Forgive this interruption. I shall vouch for my authenticity of your claim. Only one who has faced and defeated Ifrit could have the scent that you do. Past glories, however, will not impress my soldiers. Prove yourself through your actions and you might find yourself receptive here. And you might find your reception here improved. Okay, that, that makes more sense. Our foes are the Almaja of Zenric. I shall break the fangs of that beast on the helpless. On that feast. That feast on the helpless. Our target is clear and our resolve unshakable. Go, give me money. Give me money. There we go. We, the Amaja, uh, uh, were once simple nomads who roamed the vast plains of Plachatan. Whatever, I'll take it. If any sought to impede our path, we relished the challenge to uh, to our skill at arm. For as long as our people have existed, it has been the tradition for aging warriors to make the pilgrimage to the holy land of Zenrek and there confront the specter of death. It is an honor to cast one's time... Time... Per... Per... per to cast one's times per pert. Time. Time. Time tempered soul into the sacred flames and returns one's body to ash. But these caverns, whelp of Zeng. Uh, of. Uh, oh my god, now I'm completely messed up. Of Zarax quiver before death's inevitable build. That's what I get. But these caves, caverns, whelp, whelps, cavern whelps of Xenorax quaver before death's inevitability. They seek not to fortify their spirit, instead grovel before a deity of the uh, deity of the strength they do not deserve. I have no words to express my disgust. For the manner of the groveling, this subjugation of the meek by contemptuous weaklings. The path to true greatness lies only in conquering those greater than oneself. And in the doing, attaining mastery over one's own failing. War leader, there is trouble. The flame fang have sensed fresh prey. We must sound the call to arms. And so that's what they fight. So they fight because they're outnumbered and the red ones are greater than them. So this is all about honor. I like it. It seems you shall have chance to prove your talents, adventurers. Show the brotherhood your unbending steel. Uh, Lone Gra. Oh, that's her. Okay, never mind. Armor bra. Your your wish, war leader. This warrior is known by the great name Lungra. Yeah, great warrior. How how did she lock that? Whatever. Uh, through her form, maybe uh, Mikote. Her soul harbors a raging blaze to match that of any Amaja soldier. We have the Brotherhood know only the struggle 
for martial perfection. Tribe, clan, gender, these details matter not. Uh, Lungra will accompany our newest ally into battle. Okay, so well, she's pissed. Oh, she has a bit of blue. That's actually quite nice. Of course, not wearing that, the, 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 um, whatever. What, why choose me for this task? Surely there are others more fitting. Some hatchling in training, perhaps? Enough. I grow weary of your insolence. Shall I have my blade uh, answer your... Mewling? No, war leader. I shall be as your command. Now, we shall see... For the charlatan you are. Meet me at this point on our map. I pray your screams will sh Wow, I pray your short screams are short-lived. Seriously? Oh, I'm a 10 out of 10. Has to be 10 out of 10. No, we don't see that every day now, do you? Well, whatever. Can I go in there? Ooh, okay, then, we'll, then let's not do that jump. Where do I need to go? All the way over there. Shh. That's a little distance. Yeah, they're level 26, so they sh they I should be fine. Over there. Uh, put the sofa and it a couple of, I noticed, uh, I saw it, it looked amazing, uh, amazing, great job, yeah, um, Helen has been decorating the FC house, like, we're still in the process of going from small to a medium, but 60 million? 16 million for a... Come on, man. For a medium house. And we're not even talking about a large house. Which is like 46 million. I wanted to speak with you on that. Um, then we definitely will have that convo. Um, once this is done and I did the Curious George mission, then uh, we'll probably call it a stream. Uh, because I talked a lot. Give me perms and I will go... How do I do? Give me... Um, you, of course. I'll, I'll, yeah. Sure. I will. I... Uh, how do I do it? Okay, give me a second. I will sort it out in a sec. Okay, but don't turn that, turn that. Uh, I might have to make another rank for that. Well, actually, what harm can they do? I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. I can't do it on this one because I'm also NCO on this character. I didn't want to be technically. Um, anyone? Uh, actually, Helen. Helen could do that. Helen. Uh, Helen. Well, there's no downgrading to s a smaller. I advise making a new rank. You could only have six, right? I'll make. I'll make one. Okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll make one. I'll make one once I'm done. Temporary. Yeah. No, it, it, it's true. Um, pew, you made short work of those raiders. I don't know who you are or where you come from, but you have my... F How on earth did you get so much money? You said you would play... You were playing since... Um, like last year or so. Uh, 
You have a lot to show me, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be complaining to anyone at wanting to give that kind of money, but holy shit, that's a, that's a shit ton, dude. 50 million, that, that will take me years to pay off. Yeah, if, if anything goes sour. I heard the Amoja were snatching folk from the trade routes again, but I thought thou was just my rivals trying to scare me out of business. After all, the roads have been safe enough until now. I have to hire a bodyguard or two for the next time I pass through here. Damn beastman. Sell swords wages do not uh, do so eat into a man's profit. Hmm. I expect you to I expected you to die here. Come now. Uh, we return to the Ring of Ash. Man, you are so full of it. I don't like you. Let's go. Well, he, he does make a... Some would make a fair point, but... Um, Frederick has been very committed. Uh, and, and, and yeah. Look. We he doubled up all in, in size and all. It's... Um, I'm... I'm always happy to have people like that. Active and all. But still, 46 million is, is a lot of money. It is a lot of money. I don't know how I would make that to... Uh, because I would feel bad. I would... You know that, that uh, he gave me money. And, and I put it into the uh, <laughs> free company bank. Because I, I just... I, I felt like... True. Yeah, no. No, you, you are right. Uh, you are right. They they need to really think it through if they are willing. I, I don't know how much money. If he's having like uh, a billion, then 50 million is like just just pocket money, of course. For me, for me, it is 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 majestic. Um, my I suggest start. I don't even know how can I make that? Let me Google that. But you, you kind of, I, I, I won't do it because uh, I won't, I don't want to um, destroy like your profit. But hold, oh, that's level ninety. No way I can do that. Oh, that is amazing. Wait, you have a level? You can you make that on you? You, you are level ninety, right? It's, it's, it's good to know that, that that gear will do it. Yeah, okay, so gear and gear and game gear. Wow. Oh, if you need materials, get it or anything. Um, I'm going to be making um, a post, a forum post on Discord or make a forum post on Discord and, and I will help you with... Um, whatever stuff you need to be gathering. I don't know, man. Hey, I'm not going to be... I'm not even going to be talking about... It. I think 99 million is max, but... Wait, you can only have 99 million? No, there's, there's been more. I've seen people in videos with 999... Very useful that I'm not a father. I'm not a father writer. Um, but I'm trying to be one in the in the, in the, to come, in the future. Oh, you're not a gatherer. <laughs> oh, that's autocorrect. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah, 99 million, right? Yeah. I've seen videos about that. 999 million. That's sick. Anyways, let, let's continue this because I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm loving this time actually, I, I really am. I'm always so happy to play. Uh, you are no hatchling in battle, that much is obvious, but I do not think, but do not think me so easily impressed. There is yet the question of your resolve. The Brotherhood of Ash is a conclave of elite warriors under the command of uh, Hamugah. 
we wage a war of attrition against the zealots of uh, Zenric. Those fallen Amalja built uh, those fallen Amalja built altars and pitch camps where they please convincing them where they where they please convincing themselves they are the masters of the holy land. It must feel brave indeed to challenge none but the weak and undefended. Recall the raiders you you but recently faced. They were members of the Flame Fangs, a faction amongst the Zen uh, the, the Zenkia Amalja that more than any other delight in kidnappings. Naturally, they also draw the most air of the Brotherhood. It is our mission to see their ambitions grounded into dust and their leaders slain. Indeed, it is the duty of all who would call themselves true Amalja warriors. And now, a warning. Do not seek to mantle too deeply in our affairs. This war is not some distraction to be dabbled in by outsiders such as yourself. Man, you, why are you always so mad? Man? What's, what's wrong with you? You think my words are convincing? You, fi you think that I too am no Amalja? Do the seven hells with what you think? Go make your report to uh, Gayum Ga before he has to find himself a new pet adventurer. Okay, yo, you, Jesus Christ. What's wrong with you? Um, on an ally, news of your battle has spread through the camp. By all accounts, you fought with uncanny ability. None may now doubt that yours was the hand that slew a raging god. If our ca uh, cause rings true in your heart, then I would further welcome your aid. Will you unleash your fury alongside the soldiers of the Brotherhood? I will let the zealots fear our coming. Well said. Yours is a true warrior. I think I would like to do missions for these guys. I don't know why. Feels epic. These guys just feel amazing. More, more so than these um, glimpse, slimps, whatever. Though we differ in many ways, the foe that we would trump is the same. Let us vow death to the flame fangs. There is a fire that cannot be suffered to burn. Okay. I will extinguish all fires for you. I'll start with these two. There we go. Final one in the uh, realm of born. Uh, when we get ourselves a crafter, and I'm kind of waiting with that for later because crafting by itself is going to be. It's a lot of work. Unless we get collections and the diadem. Which you'll get in Heaven's Ward. Post Heaven's Ward, I believe. And then it actually becomes level. It's still a grind. Just to do it, otherwise, it's progressed. I did it um, on, on my character daily fix. Uh, when I finished uh, A Realm Reborn, I also leveled up all of the crafters to level 50. I crafted for, I think, like a month. Gathering and crafting and all of that stuff. And then I got to the diadem. And I was like... Oh, shit. <laughs> I wasted so much time. And the materials of the diadem actually sell fairly decently. Uh, purchase items. Let's take a look. If it was fun, then we're not... It, True, I do really enjoy the crafting system in this game. Wow, an iron ingot for 70? No way. Mithril ingots? Yeah, you know, some of these are actually quite interesting to do, especially with the workshop stuff we're doing. Uh, venture 
tokens, more stuff. What is the dyes over here? Uh, yellow. Yellow? And blue? And purple. And we have a music scroll. This is the only one with a music scroll. The music scroll for Smolder. Use it to add to your August tree list. Uh, also, I've been adding music to the August tree list. And if there are numbers in there that are obnoxious, feel free to change them out. How much up have a shield? That looks amazing. Can I, can I, st I wish that there was a look at it function. But there isn't. And there is a supply carriage. Okay, cool, I guess. Um, the others won't do. Okay, so we have all of them, right? One, two, three, four. My, the dailies that I'm going to be having are going to be brutal. And I didn't even put on the uh, new stuff. Um, I should get everyone's favorite lahi in there. Lahi? What's a lahi? Who's actually online? Um, Dragonstar, Milan, you and Helen. Okay. You actually, um, plur. Plower, a uh, plower, plower, plower. You should really teach me how you do that recruiting. It's uh, uh, eventually like you don't have to do it right now, but I'm I'm impressed. Okay, let's go to Curious George. Uh, also, guys, I noticed there's actually a few people uh, watching. I would really appreciate it if some of you will also just consider following me. So I know that there's at least a few people enjoying um, Final Fantasy with me. That would be great. I know there's so many content creators about this game. And I know most of you are interested in, like, the MSQ and stuff. And so am I. And eventually I will also do the boring stuff. <laughs> Thank you so much, Blue. I thought you were already following me. I didn't know that. I know so, uh, you don't have a free... Oh. Mine would be... Let's take a look. Uh, mine is quite boring. The twenty four seven bonuses is probably what's drawing them in. <laughs> Uh, I don't do it on stream because that I would be that would be the most boring thing to watch me typing constantly. Anyways, welcome again, my friend. I was ho wondering when your travels would bring you back this way. It just so happens that I've got some exciting news. I finally uncovered the clues pertaining to the whereabouts of the lost armor of my ends. Wait, we get gear? Oh yes, I would love that. Uh, wait. Of course, yeah, of course, level 45 gear. Oh, heff, yeah, now it's going to be amazing. As it turns out, after the fallen hero casts the five pieces. As it turns out, after the fallen hero casts the five pieces from the mountaintops, five of his pupils set out to recover them, intending to resolve, restore their master's name. What is more, they were actually successful in this search however when it came to reunite the set the armor's great power began to work upon their minds and not one would bring himself to relinquish his peace realizing then that their master's fatal pride was born of this uh, of the artifacts combined 
influence. Uh, the most famous part was born for, Okay, that's a full sentence. The pupils resolve to keep the pieces separate and to share between five and between five the power that might otherwise have consumed one. Does it each of them crave his own place in history? The chronicles go on to say that years later, prior to death, each of the pupils returned to the scene of its own greatest victory and bur buried the artifact in his possession in a final attempt to prevent any one warrior from holding the set. And it is there that the set, the, the pieces will uh, still rest. Water. You may be interested to know that the armor I wear is itself a replica of uh, the set crafted by my ancestors. I love his armor a lot. Identical in all respect, save for its lack of arcane enchantments that endured the original. Look at that. Look at that. That's just amazing. I love it. I know that you might be thinking, if we were to bring the five pieces together once more, what would prevent us from being corrupted in the same fashion? Well, I thought of that. What I, what we need to do is trace the runes we find on the armor onto every piece of warrior gear. Okay, I guess. That way there would be no need to worry about a single proud fool becoming drunk on his all-surpassing power. All as every warrior in the realm would be possessed of the self same might that's quite brilliant yes it is actually there can be only one anyone here ever watched um, Highlander the films I had the box I had the box I don't know where I left oh I think I left it in my previous house yeah there were some dark times I just left everything just that's what you get when you're being a drunk uh, you leave stuff behind it's quite brilliant if I do say so myself so how about we split up and begin the search straight away three of the locations seems quite self-evident I wouldn't trust the search there to you while I track down the whole the other two with tome in my hand hey Galaxio thank you for the follow man appreciate that one piece is said to be buried under the great rock of the bordering downs in Cortes, while another slumbered peacefully at the camp trinkle in the southern shroud. The last of the three rest untouched at Paras Peace in western Telelan. What are we waiting for, man? Unearth those three relics and bring them to me. With any measure of fortune, I'll have tracked down the remaining two by the time you are we going to be fighting him are we going to be fighting curious George here is he going to be evil George all right um that's in quarters I, I don't think I can teleport there actually I could that's one map bloody detour though uh we could go central oh no it's all the way over there No, you're not going outside. Stop it. My dogs are complaining. I think we'll just go through... No, it doesn't really matter now, does it? Let's go. Let's go to Captain Dragon... Dragon Hat. Dragon Hat. Nice name. I should actually buy more uh, actions. Uh, let's get out of home view, because otherwise that would be quite weird. Ugh. Already done. It is music for some already done? Already done. I'm I'm an absolute dingus. Thank you. Yeah. Way to go, dude. Appreciate that. Thank you. We could buy two more actually if we want to. 
Are we? Are we getting so many points? It's in. We were once so low on points that I was like, can we actually run these two um, XP items? Because we made it all the way up to like rank 8 with 6 or 7 people. Those with a special need. Special needs. Oh yeah, actually, that's actually quite clever. That is quite clever. How many can we hold? Like info... In yeah, entitlement. Um, so at 18, we'll get more actions. And at 20 as well. It seems rather boring, isn't it? Am I going the right way? He's level 47. I'm actually under leveled for this. Oh, is this one of those you can start it at level 45, but you better be level 50? I also have to do my daily. Oh man, I'm. This character is going to be over leveled like crazy. True. We technically, we got everything we need out of the levels. Yeah, definitely. That's so true. Uh, so, I've been. I, I put up uh, a new submarine. I actually exchanged the old one for the new one um, because I can't do a second submarine because we also have the and I'm kind of hoping to get the new airship going because I want to get one of those eater wheels like level three or four so we can get level three company actions I think that would be great so here's a old wooden chest just in the middle of nowhere and apparently... Uh, oh, there you go. Um, he's taking the high ground. Oh, he is an ugly bugger. What the hell is that? Oh, will I be able to wear it? Um, yeah, I've, I've not updated it, actually. Um, Zel... Zelia. Um, he's been doing so much crafting that... Um, I, I had to give him permission to take whatever he needs from the company chest because he's been going like crazy. I think he, he got the submarine completed. Can I wear that? Hell yeah, I can wear that. Oh, we're going to be looking like a boss. Hell yeah, I like that. Next up, Black Shroud. Very luckily, quite close. This is where the Alma Ja is, I think. No, this is Camp Tranquil. This is not the desert. Um, that means this is the water one. Never mind. Just trying to be smart. Completely failed at it, of course. No, you're not going outside now. That is a huge boost to my, uh, to my, uh, defense. Alright, so you're actually not that tough anymore. Wait, I got hit? Oh, I think I spent too much time. That's that's a problem with the uh, American note. You really have to be on the move if you're a European playing on an American server the second you get that. Okay, I wonder what it is going to be. I, I wonder how I will look. We got ourselves the gloves. No, you're not going outside, doggy. You'll have to wait for a second. Okay, let's take a look. Plus 24, strength, direct hit, tenacity plus 10, which is perfect. That means that I'll have to. We know, actually, we know how it looks. Yeah, but I'm level 45, so it's a full five levels for me enjoying it. And I don't have to grind uh, the storyline because I'm not there yet. And I'm not sure how I want to do it. If I want to go uh, above level 50, I think that would be... Annoying as hell. Let's use one of those. Uh, 
Vespa Bay tickets. I wish that you could stop leveling. Is there a way to stop, like, gaining XP? Oh my god, he's in the way. There we go. You know, they don't do it a lot. But the problem is, like, when I get to this position, like, a point in the game, then I'm, I'm missing all of these skills. I have to do all of these skill quests in one go. Uh, and it... Yeah, actually, you're right. It doesn't matter at all. I can keep leveling till 80 because I don't have the last expansion. I will have to go and get that. I recently... It. Oh, that's disgusting, dude. We on the tail like that. Did you? Ah, oh, yes. Oh, man. We feed him stuff. Oh, that stinks. Okay, whatever. Here we go. Old wooden chest. Oh, hello. I don't like frogs. Uh, and I don't like him because they have that sticky attack. And I don't like them. That's basically it. Yeah, man, this gear is going to be absolutely amazing. So we got the boots. And hopefully we'll get the top. Oh. No top. Uh, we got boots. Boots. Okay, let's, let's do the comparison here. 35, 40. Uh, no determination, but I like the tenacity. That saves me a lot. Yeah, I'm going to be looking amazing. I love it. Okay, time to speak to Curious George. So, how much are we going to be betting that he is completely taken over by the pieces of the armor? Oh, come on, doggies. Please, let me just continue this quest. Oh, they're annoying. Well, it's fine. I will just have to deal with it. There you go, hidden falls. Are you, are you, are you evil net? How fast your search, Une? Have you found all of my tribe ancient relics? Should you have the three pieces of armor done them and show them to me? No. I got them. I, I ha... Ah, Une, you found the gear is most gratifying, but what I would truly fancy would be to see you in it. Wait. Stand still for a moment. The armor so becomes you that I could not tell you had it on on first glance. But now I can have no doubt. I sense the power of the runes inscribed on each piece resonating with your soul crystal. This is a long lost armor of the warrior. I too have found one of the relics. But I have run into unexpected rub. When I done the piece, I felt nothing, as if the lost treasure were no different than the unadorned replicas already in my possession. When the power has been lost, uh, whenever the power has been, 
Whether the power has been lost to it or must needs be awakened by means yet unknown to me, this I cannot say. The ancient texts still hold many mysteries beyond my abilities to describe. But before I forget, I should mention to you that I did indeed track down another piece before I was uh, waylaid by this current conundrum. You should find it sealed away at the Red Mantis Falls. Man, he's sending me on a quest. I need to deal with the dog. They're in, and hopefully they remain silent. Yes, I'm talking about you there. Small, small dog. Hmm? Ready? Yeah. Um. um. Okay, so some chat is going on. I was paying attention to that. Anyways, let's go. Um, that's smaller than expected. Yeah, that he is an actual Kninchen, uh, Deshund, and the other one is a dwarf. All right. Um, obtain the relic armor. Why did you put it all the way over there? Why could you just not bring it to me? He's going to be attacking me. The other one is a bit larger. So the one that you just saw is the one that needs uh, daily medicine. Uh, otherwise he cannot um, poop. And he'll die. He will die. Uh, why did I press that? It's also the one that I will be wiping his ass. Uh, because of the medicine, I need to make sure that everything is clean before he gets indoors. Oh my. But then again, they are small in size, but my god, they make a lot of noise. Right. Over there. At the waterfall again? Yeah, of course. At the waterfall, he's going. I'm, 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 I'm saying Curious is going to be attacking me. I don't know why. Well, that's definitely not George. You know what else we could do? You, although you might not find it too interesting, is uh, we could start leveling up like a paladin. Yeah. Like I can start doing the hunts and we can go through the storyline of the paladin. It's still like a warrior, but then different. Uh, we got, oh, the helmet. Interesting. Oh, of course, yeah, that's off, because I didn't like... Yeah, I love it. Oh, yes, I do. That's absolutely fabulous. Speak to Curious Dodge. I I'm saying he's holding back on us. I don't know why. Like, I, I want the top. Although I might not be getting it, you know. But that headpiece is bloody awesome. I love it. 
Like, is, isn't it the, um, the same headpiece that is in the... Like the first cinematic, I think, like a Realm Reborn, where you had that fight going on and that guy just going from class to class. Like he has the Marauder gear, like the warrior stuff on. I really, really enjoy that look. Don't remember that cinematic. Alright, here we go. Curious George. What will you do, mate? I don't know. Uh, for some reason, I just don't trust. I see a search was fruitful was a fruitful one. I am pleased to say I've also gleaned some insight into why the armor I found seemed devoid of power. As I alluded to, the ancient warrior's armor derives its power from a co concordance between the incarnations engraved on the steel itself and the inner beast of the wearer but my own resonance with the plating was too weak as to allow a proper connection with it and now I think I know why my soul crystal it once burned bright like yours but since the event in Wineport it has been reduced to a life. Oh, dude. Oh, dude. Seriously? You stalking massive oaf. Why this happened, I cannot say. But the tome is quite clear about what would happen were the powers of the armor to be bestowed upon ones whose soul is weak. The inner beast would devour the mind of the wearer who would go on a mindless rampage that would end only with the mercy of death. Yes, not unlike the crazed uh, fiends we battle, I believe that the armor sensed my weakened state, foresaw the potential danger, and then knowingly shut off its power to me. And I dare say we are fortunate that it did. I feel as though an apology is in order at this juncture. I must tell you I left this final piece of armor where I found it. The breastplate as the piece closest to the warrior's heart has powers far greater than more dangerous uh, and more dangerous than the other pieces. Uncertain as I was to the reason of my being unable to connect with the plate's magical energy, I feared it, uh, to take it would mean imperiling both myself and those around me. Your soul may burn stronger than mine, yet still I worry about, uh, still I worry for your faith were you to put it on. Look deep within yourself, Une. When you feel yourself ready and only then come speak to me again. Okay, just just give me to you right now. Right now. That is a steel cyclone, which is great, but I wanted the That's a good uh, delivers an attack with the potency of 170 to all nearby enemies. So I have three areas of effects then. Unless my beast gauge is full. Let's go. You would truly seek the ultimate relic of my people. The armor that could consume the very soul of the most prussian warrior. Very well. If you are truly convinced of your readiness, I will not be the one to stand in your way. But I beg of you, Une. The moment you feel yourself losing control and your inner beast overcoming you, cast the armor aside. Cast it from the highest mountain or into the depths of the ocean. I cannot. For once the beast consumes your soul, there is no going back. You will rage on a monster, leaving naught but carnage in your wake. The realm will bleed and history will repeat itself. I cannot allow this to happen. No, 
My people have been shunned long enough. I would seek the coming of a new age in which warriors protect the weak and are loved and admired by the people of the realm. My years of battle and sleepless nights spent poring over the ancient text. All that has been for this day. Brother, I know not where fate has, lead, has led you, and yet I feel certain that in spirit you stand with me today. Together we will resolve, uh, restore the honor of our people. You must forgive my sentiment today. As I said, this has been a long time coming. The breastplate you seek is in the highlands of... I just got there at the spring they call weeping saint i will stand behind the events at wineport still weigh heavily on my heart all right fine and i should stop shouting but that's still man that, that felt epic it felt so epic oh I really need more water. But then again, uh, we're almost there. Uh, once this mission is done with Curious, I'll end it. And I'll be back Wednesday. And I prom ooh, promise that um, that time I will actually make sure we do MSQ. Instead of me doing QQ about um, tribals and Curious George. An armor that looks absolutely fantastically cool. It's starting to feel like... Uh, anyone here played Final Fantasy X? You have the Chocobo Knights on the beach confronting Sin. It feels like that. Oh, this is a nice looking place. I really love Final Fantasy X. The fuck, dude, you are massive. Okay, a born horn. I don't. I cannot. I need to zoom out of way more. He is huge. Right, I need to take a look. What was this again? Home gang. Brace yourself, an enemy onslaught preventing my HP to go to zero. That's actually quite handy. I need to remember my skills. Uh, Ad is about to start snoozing for five minutes. There you go. We're not going to be doing ads at the end of it. No, hell, no way I'll do it. Fate has been completed. I guess. Um, I don't think I'll get anything from it. That was an easy fight. We got an ogre horn. I'm waiting for Curious to come here. Like, oh, give me the armor. See? There he goes. Oh, give me the armor. See? Told you. Hand over the breastplate, you know. After much wrestling with his thought, I simply cannot entrust such a relic to an outsider who may be overwhelmed by the power. I'll return now to Hidden Falls. If you, uh, if you would have words with me, then come. I will not run away. Oh, oh, you bastard! Don't give it to him. We, we have it. It's ours. Wait, are you kidding me? He actually took it. You let him took it. What the hell are you doing? We fought the monster. He didn't do jack. He's complaining about armor. Cry baby. Oh, it is great time of day. Love that sun, guys. Seriously. This is such a feel-good area to be in. I don't know why. It's so warm. Oh, uh, also, guys, I, I was thinking about doing um the golden saucer or something 
uh, we could actually do that as an event sometimes where we just do play the games just do the jumping missions and, and stuff like that and some people have to guide me through it because I've never played it I need to check something real quick I thought for a moment that he was um, growling. I don't want him to fight. How did you travel over here? How did you do that? Una, I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I did not mean for things to happen like this, but I had no choice. I have wrestled long and hard with the matter. But this is my decision. I cannot trust you with the power when I do not even trust myself. Aye, that's right. I won't attempt to don the plate again. Either nor will anyone. Not until I have proof that there is no, uh, that there is one with the will strong enough to withstand the beast siren's call. Um, yeah, but they kind of just appeared over there. Like, if I travel to another server, can I just... Like a point on the map? Not sure, man. De uh, peer deep within your soul, in it. Peer into the eyes of the beast and that stares back at you. Can you truly say that you can... That you can enrage the monster in battle and emerge victorious? I shall return to the tome. If there are are any reasons to be found they uh, they lie within those pages in the meantime continue training that you f uh, might find an answer for your own you will give me that damn breastplate you bastard what is he happy about great a steel cyclone give me the armor Oh, you f... Oh. Oh, 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 that's mean. Oh, that is so mean. Can be executed while in combat. Maximum charges, two. Increase beast... I want the ads to start going. Are you kidding me? Ah, oh, the fuck, George. Uh, where's the attack? I don't see it do anything actually. Uh, I need an enemy. I need to test something out before we go. Let's put that in there. Um, go here. Uh, I want to see what this uh, Sergeant Tempest is. Right, here we go. Damage dealt is increased. Oh, that's actually very handy then. Not sure about provoke, but I would like to have that. Yeah, that would be fine. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll start to notice that. I'll definitely need to check if that buff is on. I might split up my my buffs. Um to like, if I split it in three, what will happen? Let's save that for now. Okay, go here. Um, that's order. So this is guild stuff. I kind of don't care where it goes. And we have status info.
and enchantable. Okay, let's 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 check that out. If I do, yeah, like FC buffs, like that, it, nobody cares about that. All right, so it's this one. This one needs to be. That's going to be very important, right? Yeah, that's definitely all of the important buffs. And then the other one is for... So let us... Status, info, enchantments. Save that. Then... Could I change how you look? Uh, I want you to be a line. Like so. And then, uh, what does enfeeblement mean? Uh, enfeeblements are debuffs. So... Can I change you to go... Like so. Also... That's the wrong one. Uh, condition enchantments. There's a status otter. It can just be a hundred. Nobody cares about that. Uh, 140. And then... A line, just safe like so. Because I need to pay attention to those, right? At least I think I need to pay attention to those. Target folks, bark, move up. You move there. More in the center of view, beast gauge could be over there. Progress bar is for skills. How large is that? That could actually be trimmed down a bit. It's just for when you do sort of skills. And then the status info, it's fine the way it is. So let's save it like this. Is that annoying? I think it's annoying. I think I need to change that again. Uh, hot layout. Go up. Go up. Go down. And I do want to increase that to 120. Because I'm blind as a bloody bat. Then now that is looking weird. That's not helping. Keep that at 80. Like so. Then we'll get enhance enchantments. Progress bar. Save. All right, that's that's bloody easy to see. Oh, there's a silk cycle. Go away. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll actually me. I could definitely take a look at that. Uh, now, before I end, I want to go to the freight company. I want to show what's been done. I could not snooze the ads, so sorry for that. Here we are. We got a cannon. Nobody dares to attack from this side. That's a bloody quarterbuster. So good. So the entrance has been changed um, to where we'll have the NPCs. Uh, 
nice dining spotlight on the food of course a double cabinet with stuff damn floating boat so tiny oh we got greeneries i like that didn't even know you could do that uh carpet holy oh yeah oh you better be scotch yeah, i like it looks great and yeah with all of that guys thank you so so much for watching hope you enjoyed uh usually i don't go this long like almost four hours usually i stick around by three appreciate all of you if you haven't already do give me a follow and i'll be back streaming wednesday morning uh roughly around eight ah uh, probably eight 8 a.m. for a few hours. So yeah, have a good one. See you next time.